Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? Well, it's sunny and warm here in Florida. I hope uh, all the cold weather has dissipated for everyone and you are seeing flowers and warm weather. Well, today I wanted to bring you some stuff that I picked up on my travels yet again. <laughs> I can't seem to uh, not stop at an estate sale when I see one. So, but first I wanted to show you these postcards. I ordered postcards from um, this company, Christopher Arndt Postcards, A-R-N-D-T, postcards.com. Um, because I'm on postcrossing.com, more send postcards um out all over the world so i ordered postcards they were at a great price and i wanted to check them out and with the postcards came <coughs> this regular old thick pen which i laughed about until i read what was in included and it's telling you that the postcards are made from a different type of paper and not just any pen will write on them. It has to be this. And they said that they have found that the Sharpie fine point will also write on them, but you can't use gel pens and a lot of just your regular pens. So I wanted to show them to you. They are really nice. And like this, does that even look like a postcard? This to me looks like it can go in a journal. And I think I'm gonna keep it for a journal. Um, here's the back of this. So this would be a great tuck spot. I mean, it's the colors are just beautiful. I wanna make a journal around those colors. And even this Florida one where I'm from, I don't know if I want to give this to somebody. <laughs> I just love it. They're in, I just love the coloring and the information. Um, you know, the 27th straight state and uh, it was founded in 1845, but it feels good. It, it does not feel like any other postcard. And I've gone through and have hundreds of postcards and I've never felt one like this and then when you get into something like this it does have information like any other postcard does but um these are just amazing and look at these ice cream cones wouldn't those look awesome in the spring journal as well and even this, this is in Colorado. I just love that. I'm getting ready to do a uh, journal. What am I trying to think? Anyways, this would go in there perfectly. And look at this turtle. I just don't know. And this old Corvette on the Route 66. I just don't know how I can use... I'll send this one off. I don't care about this. This is, um, I don't know, something about NASA. I'm not into that. I If I hand this to my husband, he would love it. He's always outside uh, when they uh, launch, since it's just on the other coast. It's like four hours from us, straight across Florida. But I wanted to show you because I just love that card. It's beautiful. So let's get into what I got. I got that. That is always good for colored pencils. And when it's like a quarter. And it had the tag on it. It was brand new. I took the tag off. We're already been into this stuff. And look at this. This ribbon is not only going to be cool for Halloween. But if you're doing a journal for somebody that likes this, like my stepdaughter, who I need to do a journal for, it's on my list. Um, she loves skulls, so I can use this in her journal for something. And then I got this Reader's Digest book. 
I see how people are using them. I haven't used one yet, but I have started to pick them up now. Um, I hate that somebody wrote their name in it though, because I like I like the empty original label, but I'm a sucker for blue, so I love that. And um, I hope you guys can see. I'm always trying my camera at a different place because I don't know. I just don't have it down yet. Well, this book is from 83, but can you tell from these pages? It's from 83. And then there are some pictures. There's like four different novels in here. So, oops. So there's a plane. I think this this backstory here is a fighter story. But I think these pictures are just so cool. Just the look at what he's handing them. Anyways. Isn't that map cool? I wish that was on one page. But um, if you go in these other stories that are not about fighter planes. Yeah, that one's not too good either, is it? Nope, neither is that. <laughs> huh. Okay. Now this book's making me to, out to be a liar. I just saw a nurse one. You do a journal for somebody who's a nurse. Okay. I know, I'm skipping all the pages. I can't get back to them. I hate how... Aw. That is cute. That would be cute. And um, when I do my grandson's journal, because my granddaughter is about that age when he, or was when he was born. He's 15 months. She's 10 now. So that's kind of cool. So this story will have, yeah, this is the story. It has a whole lot of these pictures. This is the one where I saw all the pictures. Anyways, I know you're tired of looking at this, and it's probably hard to see, but there's more. So anyways, y'all got me into this Reader Digest book. I got that, picked that up for a dollar. So this, I just always picking up um, paper when I see them, especially when I'm, I'm not getting them for anything. This is Vera Bradley, so I could probably take this apart and use the flower. It says a dollar, I didn't pay a dollar. I got stuff and it was later on Saturday when I went around. Um, so I got everything. So cheap, like I seems like I always do. So, ah, look at these cards. Now I have not even altered any cards yet, and I probably have the hugest collection of cards. And now I'm on the lookout for different ones. I'm not even buying the regular old red and blue cards. I have some of those. These Bud Light cards are game cards, which I never knew about. They are way too glossy. But, um, they're not, you know, the cards, it's a card game. It's not about alcohol. I seen a couple that said beer on it. So these cards can be used for anything. 
And again, it, I think it says 50 cents on it. I think I got it for a quarter. This was at the estate sale. I may have paid 50 cents for it. Look at these, they're pink. I have not seen pink. They are so cute. Isn't that cute? I think it's adorable. I'm doing a journal now, which you'll see as soon as I'm done. And it's Kara Brandon's kit. And I don't want to say it because it's, she has two kits that are similar in names. And uh, this is one of them. So it's got blues and pink flowers in it. And uh, this was a different one. And it says blue coal. So these are obviously a little older. They're aged and not as slick. And this box is uh, velvet and the lettering's come off, but that says blue coal. So the box itself is nice. And then I got these beads. These are turquoise mixture. And these are lilac. They look pink to me, but it says lilac. Unless somebody changed them out, but um, beads and too blessed to be stressed with the magnet. I can take the magnet off and reuse it. And then there's just paper that you can do anything with, and it's aged. <laughs> so cool. I'm telling you. <laughs> I get so excited about the littlest things. This is a pad of paper. It's one of those refrigerator magnet paper. But, you know, it'll be cute at some point. This I got for a nickel. And um, it's ribbon, but it's the plastic coated ribbon. And it's blue and green. Or a see-through green. So, I'll use it for something. And then I got this, it says a quarter. Um, oh, you know what? No, all this stuff at that estate sale, they had, um, it was totally at the end of the day. And it was half off of everything that was um, like the book. But they moved everything to the garage on tables in the garage. And gave you bags and you filled up the bag for two dollar two dollars holly get back in school sorry about that her lunch time's over and i can still hear the tv um so you just shoved everything in the bags in a bag i just got one bag um and it was uh two dollars so here's some, I got this at a yard sale we stopped at. There's five of them, so there's one somewhere. And um, I got all that for a dollar, the five of them. And they'll come in, they'll come in handy for a little girl's journal. This is the primary K through second. Um, so I like this and I like that it's turned the right way for putting it into a journal so that the lines are going the right way. And I don't have this kind. I have um, primary paper, but it's different than this. So I love that line. And then um, Another notepad, brand new. I probably have way too many notepads. This was a nickel or it was in that bag. And I'm uh, turning into a hoarder. It's not a good thing, I don't know. These are pretty, they're big. They have such a nice sparkle. 
And then this is cool. Betty Crocker cookbook for boys and girls. And I couldn't find a date. But, um, the pages are nice and they come right out and go and go right back in just like the, um, the planners. Of course, I'm forgetting the name. You put me on the spot and you put, you put a spotlight on me and I can't think of anything. But, um, these are cute because it's a kid's vintage cookbook I mean look at that old biscuit bisquick um so there's going to be a lot of fun stuff in here to use and it would even be cool if I could take the book apart and use this cover one day one day I may do it and then look a truly bona fide evening and then if you've got it haunt it <laughs> yep there's the other one oh, there's another one and this I, was it okay. so cut off so i'm gonna try to put these two together i just wanted to show you the last two items i got this box of these popcorn bags for a dollar fifty and there's whoops quite a bit in there it says that there's 500 in this box and of course there's some used so there's a lot Chris, you'll be getting some in your packet that I've got going for you and Ryder. <laughs> These are a little bigger than what I would like. I like the little ones, but these would be great to use as a page in your journal like this with your pages in between. And that one already has an opening. Then when you get to this, you'll cut off a slit there at the end and have another pocket or at the top on that one and then this is the other one and I went through all of these when I thought you were there I got this entire bin the bin and everything you see here for five dollars and some of these are amazing. Some of them don't have holes and they're just flat backs. So that would be so cool, I think, on a journal. Front and then, you know, do, do some. These do have holes. They're pretty. And all of those are pretty. These black ones are different. There's that sparkly one that looks like it's purplish. And that rectangle one, none of these have a hole in it. And then one, one of them even looks like a tiger eye. These green ones are cool. That color is very pretty. And those blue ones. And these remind me of Robin, Robin's eggs. And then those are pretty, they purple. Those will be fun. Those are different. These are like Easter. Beautiful pastel colors. I wish there were more of these. 
Oh, yep. That's where she got them from. I'm gonna have to check that out. As if I don't do enough shopping. Those are neat. These ones are cool. These are definitely beachy. And these are flat backs as well. So pretty. And there's some more. Okay, well that's it guys. I'm gonna try to put these two videos together. And if I stop buying stuff, then the next time I see you will be when I get that journal finished. All right, take care guys. Bye.